What's up, y'all? Thank y'all for stopping by my channel. Please hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate to the channel, my cash app is Miss Aries the Truth 3. Everything is, this video is used for educational and entertainment purposes only, and everything is alleged. So let's go. So I wanted to speak a little bit on um, Memphis and Yo Gotti's security presence at Big Joke County. You know, and what what it looked like could be going on in Memphis as well. Um, first, I remember Raven Cookie from the cookie shop said something about politicians being involved in the Young Dolph case. I think her words were, y'all gonna be surprised when y'all find out it's the politicians or something like that. Cause she said election year was coming up and she's right um for for a lot of reasons um the behavior behavior pipeline i couldn't find where another president tried to you know like visit memphis like biden and who like they wrote him a letter to deny that pipeline. And the pipeline is like a 45 mile radius, I think it said. And it goes through south southwestern Memphis over on the side the Dolphins from. Um, Joe Biden denied that because he wants the pipeline to go. Everybody knows that they don't care how they get it. They gonna get that land if they wanna do something with it. Um, I remember them saying it was like 97%, 96 or 97% of the people agreed to sell, but it was that 3% that didn't. And since then, um, two people that had a good amount of property on that side of town is now deceased. And that's Yondolf and another man I want to say his name is Brian Williams, was Brian Williams. He owned the Starbucks, no, Smoothie King, the Smoothie King, um, over near that area, Whitehaven area, I think it was. But I'm wondering, were they the 3% that didn't want to sell? And now that kind of leads me to believe, is Gotti being used? Everyone, everyone knows that Gotti and Dolph were, you know, in the ops. There was one another ops, and Gotti is from North Memphis, which North Memphis is not where they want to buy a pipeline at. So the security presence at Big Joe Funeral was it sent by Biden, and have the um, visits to the White House for Yo Gotti, being them, you know, trying to get in. You know to to knock off or to you know take over the land of South Memphis because the amount of security that got he have now I know he needed security hey I get it but snipers like 20 to 25 black trucks and we all know they bulletproof they were bulletproof so you got to keep that you got to keep that person safe I don't think Gotti paid for all of that security. Not saying that he can't or he couldn't. I'm saying I don't think he did. I don't think he had to. Because the thing, the goal is to keep Gotti safe until they get what they want. Which would be ops gone. Regardless if he had anything to do with it or not. They want it. They're going to keep Gotti close. Because, like I said, the oil is something that you want. Now, the first time that Joe Biden visited Memphis on this was in 2021, that they began. Um, Danny Glover spoke out, and Jane Fonda spoke out about the situation as well. Uh, they were against, you know, letting them do the pipeline. But it's just strange to how. Biden wrote that letter, heartfelt letter, 
um, allegedly to Gotti and his family on the behalf of them losing Chuck. Now, I'm not saying Gotti don't do anything for Memphis, but from what I've heard people from Memphis say, because I do have friends up there, but what I've heard people say was that Gotti really ain't did nothing like that for his city. Um, like I said, I don't know I'm not from up there, but that's what some of the people are telling me and, and told me this like two years ago. Um, and then he got a key to the city in 2017. And I remember that, but I it slipped my mind until someone asked me how did he get a key in 2017, but Dolph didn't get one. And he, you know, helped people. I don't know. I'm not from Memphis. I don't live in Memphis. Um, my people hadn't even said, you know, too much about that. Because they probably slipped their mind. This was one of um one of my subscribers from up there that messaged me about that. But I don't know why Doc didn't get a key. I would have thought that maybe he, you know, had gotten a key, but when I searched online, I couldn't find where Young Dolph got a key to Memphis. But this is where I, I, I really think Raven was right. Out of all the stuff she said, um, stuff was getting twisted up and doing cartwheels and backflips and all kind of stuff. But that was the one thing that stood out to me that I actually kind of like believe her own because I've been saying I, in order for that to happen to Young Dolph in his own town, he would have that would have had to come from higher power. Like something like that. I'm sorry, y'all. Stuff like that don't just happen. It's a green light giver. Mm -hmm. And it's also a green light giver when um, someone like Doc get taken out and then that type of organization who was higher than Doc that could have gave a green light or could be working. Because the, the thing is, it's about the Southern takeover. I remember right after Young Doc passed. Um, see, I saw a lot of CMG members start hollering the Southern takeover, the takeover. And, you know, um, Mr. Jay-Z been wanting the South. And who's up under Jay-Z? Yo, Gotti. And money bag. So, by any means, I think they're going to do what they want to. And I also think they gonna, they'll take out any anyone that stands in their way. It is real strange that all of this happened in 2021 with the pipeline, CJ Davis coming in, um, working in Memphis. The planning of Dolph Death allegedly started in 2021. Then he was taken out in 2021. Then in 2022, Yo Gotti and Moneybag was invited and went to the White House. Again, in 2022, Yo Gotti, what is that, soccer team that he's part owner of or whatever, um, took a trip to the White House. And then again in 2022, around Christmas time, Yo Gotti and Angela was back at the White House. So are they using Yo Gotti to get what they want and then may possibly get rid of Yo Gotti? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments. Enjoy the rest of y'all Sunday. I'm out.